installing the clutch assembly. Prepare the clutch assembly. Use the following materials. Clutch lever, clutch cable, heat guard spring, clutch arm spring, soil stop, cable lock, screwdriver, channel lock, hole digging garden tool, left hand wheel grip, Allen wrench, piece of rubber. Remove the original handle grip. Slide the clutch lever down the left handle bar. Replace the old handle grip with the matching grip. Use a small amount of WD-40 to easily slide the grip on. Spray a small amount of WD-40 onto the left handle bar grip. Slide the grip all the way onto the left handle bar. Tighten the clutch lever to handle bar with an Allen wrench. Run the clutch cable through the heat guard spring. Secure the clutch cable ball end into its bottom slot. Run the cable through the slot in the lever. Run cable and its black housing tube all the way through the cable slot on motor. Position the heat guard spring against the cable slot on motor. Rest the cable protected by the spring against the motor cylinder as shown. Run the cable through the clutch arm spring until it rests against the motor's cable slot. Run cable through the camshaft clutch arm slot. Run the cable through the swivel stop cable lock device. Fold a piece of rubber tubing below the lock on cable. Be sure that the end of the cable housing is correctly inserted in the clutch lever. Firmly but not too tight. Clamp the cable over the rubber underneath the cable lock. Position the digging tool against the clutch arm tip inside of the cable. With the digging tool pressed against your chest, push the clutch arm forward while pulling out the cable slack at least two inches. Move the cable lock against the clutch arm and tighten it with a screwdriver.
Roll rear wheel to see if the motor engages when clutch lever is released. Observe resistance and the compression sound from the piston being moved in the cylinder. A fa-fump, fa-fump sound. When the clutch lever is pulled in, the bicycle should roll freely without resistance from the compression of the motor. If the rear wheel turns freely without the resistance when the clutch is let out, the motor is not engaged. Too much slack is taken out. Some of the cable tension needs to be released. Take out a small amount at a time until engagement can be obtained when the clutch lever is released. re the cable a few millimeters or a quarter of an inch below the cable lock. Loosen the screw so that the arm is released back out. This increases the engagement level of the motor. Tighten the cable lock and test for engagement. When the clutch lever is let out, and the rear wheel has resistance and disengagement when the clutch lever is pulled in and the rear wheel turns freely. Continue to adjust until the clutch is set properly. Okay, so we took out the slack from the, the clutch cable, pushing in this camshaft arm. When this camshaft arm is pushed in, it disengages the motor. In other words, you go on freewheel. Now you have to go ahead and make sure that you have it set just right so that when your clutch is pulled in in three wheels, like so, that when it's let out, you're going to have compression. But here, I went ahead and took out a lot of slack from the clutch cable. This camshaft is pushed in quite a bit, so even though the clutch is uh, engaged, Clutch lever is engaged, we still freewheel. In other words, we're still disengaged. The motor is still disengaged. So what we now need to do is to go and slowly remove some of that, that, that tension by giving it a little bit more slack. We're going to do that by taking off our ice grip and we're going to go ahead and lock it just a few millimeters underneath the sole stop screw that holds it in. We'll lock it. We'll use our screwdriver to go and loosen the screw and let the camshaft arm come back. We'll re-tighten slightly. Okay, we'll leave it there. And we're going to go ahead and test. All right? So when we're pulled in, we should go ahead and freewheel. But if you let it out, we should have resistance. There's still no resistance. You should be hearing a fa-fump, fa-fump sound. All right, so we need to go ahead and loosen it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and set my vice grip a few millimeters underneath. This will stop. Go ahead and unscrew. Put on some of that tension. Retighten. We go ahead and look for Disengagement, three wheels, let it out. Looks like we have close to the position we want. Okay, listen for the sound. And that's the proper setting you want to have. Okay, so when the clutch is let out like this, the motor's engaged and you should be hearing that fa-fump, fa-fump sound. You should have that resistance. That means that you're engaged. When you pull in and pin it, you should freewheel. Okay? And that's the setting that you want. We'll go and tighten the screw a little bit more and lift the vice grip off. Okay, that's it. Next video, part 11. Installing the gas tank.